Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an important question that many developers encounter when working with HTTP Client in .NET Core. Our viewer asks, can you run HTTP Client as a singleton in .NET Core and have it respect DNS updates? This question stems from the challenges faced in the full framework, where using HTTP Client as a singleton could lead to DNS caching issues. Let's dive into the details and explore how .NET Core handles this situation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. In .NET Core, you can indeed use the HTTP client as a singleton. This approach allows for connection reuse, which improves performance. However, Unlike the full .NET framework, .NET Core does not have Service Point Manager to manage DNS caching. This means that DNS updates are handled differently. To ensure that your HTTP client respects DNS updates, you can create a new instance of HTTP client for each request or use a custom DNS resolver. If you choose to use a singleton, consider implementing a mechanism to periodically refresh the HTTP client or its handlers to accommodate DNS changes. In conclusion, while you can use HTTP client as a singleton in .NET Core, be mindful of DNS caching and consider your application specific needs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In .NET Core, using HE Client as a singleton is a great practice. This user confirms that Service Point Manager is available in .NET Core version 2.05. To address DNS issues, they create an HTTP request message and set the connection lease timeout to one minute. For more information on DNS problems with HTTP client, check out the linked article. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To implement HTTP Client as a singleton in .NET Core, you can use the Sockets HTTP Handler. This allows you to configure connection settings like timeouts and connection lifetimes. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In .NET Core 2.1, a fix for using HTTP Client as a singleton is expected. This version is currently available in Preview. And that's it, guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If you did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.